What is something you really don't think would happen to you in a Walmart parking lot? A couple says a young mother handed her newborn girl over to them saying she couldn't care for her. And when that woman walked away, the couple took the baby to the safest place they knew. This nearby fire station in Lakewood at 14th and Lamar. And tonight, that baby is okay. And 7 News reporter Lindsay Watts is at the fire station. And Lindsay, this story pretty bizarre, but if it's true, the mother won't be protected by Colorado's safe haven law. Right, Ann, and that's because under that law, only a parent can leave their own child less than 72 hours old at a fire station or hospital. The couple that dropped off the infant at this Lakewood fire station just a block off Colfax never left their name, so it's been tough for police to determine if their story is true. For now, everyone is just relieved that the baby is safe and healthy. This is the first time for... Uh, any of us at this station to receive a, a newborn child. Trained to respond to all types of emergencies, this was a new one for everyone here at West Metro Station 1. An abandoned infant, maybe a few hours old. The child didn't look like it had been completely cleaned off, like um, still had some amniotic fluid dr dried on. Firefighters say a middle-aged couple knocked on this door the pair said they came from a nearby Walmart on Colfax and Wadsworth, where a woman gave them her child, saying she didn't want her. She handed uh, them the baby, and um, they then brought the baby over here to us. Police now are viewing surveillance video, trying to find out if their story adds up. If a parent handed over the child to total strangers, and they took it to a fire station, then the parent could be charged criminally. While it doesn't appear the baby's mom followed the law, she didn't just throw that baby away. And so I, whether or not she should be prosecuted, I wouldn't want to make that judgment call. The executive director of Safe Haven for Newborn says it's a teaching moment to make sure parents know how to safely give up a newborn and stay anonymous. It isn't a safe haven relinquishment, but it is a good opportunity to make sure that people know about the law. Safe Haven for Newborns says that abandoned babies typically get placed with families within just a few days. The group says that since the Safe Haven law took effect in 2000, 40 babies have been dropped off at hospitals and fire stations like this one. Live in Lakewood, Lindsay Watt, 7 News. And one of the first babies handed over through the Safe Haven program now lives with John Burke and his wife. They adopted a baby girl left at a Westminster fire station back in 2002. Burke says many of the emotional ups and downs families feel when going through the adoption process don't really exist when the baby is properly handed over through the Safe Haven program. At any point in time, uh, these children could be taken away through that foster care system if the, the judge and the courts deem that the existing biological parents are you know, fit to parent that child. And so in this case, because of the situation, there wasn't any parents to be heard of. Again, Colorado's safe haven law allows a parent to hand over an infant up to 72 hours old to an employee at any fire station or hospital, no questions asked, as long as the baby is not harmed. Parents will not be prosecuted or for the abandonment.